Has your dealership started using QR codes? Do you wish there was a free way to be able to track how effective they are? Well, that's this week and a little more on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. By now, you've seen QR codes everywhere. I mean, they're at Lowe's, they're at Best Buy, they're at Target, they're on billboards, they're on direct mail pieces, the list goes on. The question is, though, are you using QR codes? If not, it's time to get started. So the first step in utilizing QR codes is planning your campaign. How are you going to use it? Well, there's a lot of information out there of how you can use QR codes, but here's a couple more. One, you can create a QR code specific to your salesperson. You can put it on a sticker and have it on their desk. So now a customer can scan it, have your dealership information, have the salesperson's information right there in their phone. The second element is to utilize reviews. If you're utilizing Dealer Rater or Google reviews, you can create a QR code specific to that. So now a customer can do an online review on their smartphone for your dealership. So the campaign's the first element. Now the next step, which is the fun part, because now you can get those analytics on those QR codes of who's scanning your QR codes. What you've got to do is get a Google account, and once you have the Google account, I want you to search for Google Tool URL Builder. And this is what it looks like right here. So you would put in all your information, the campaign term, the campaign information, your keywords, and then generate a URL. It's really simple. Now that you have all the URLs generated in your campaigns, it's time to shorten them up. The first website I recommend is goo.gl. It's the Google URL shortener. All you have to do is enter the URL and then hit the details tab and it will generate those QR codes for you. Another website which will allow you to do a larger file for your designers, gives you the vector files, is Kiram Urkan. You can also use Zing and then the most popular is Kaiwa. So there's a few websites to get started tracking your QR codes. It's going to give you a lot of information and all this is going to be in your Google Analytics now. So that's this week's tip, but before you go, I want you to scan this QR code. And then we'll see you next week on Think Tank Tuesday. Thanks for watching Think Tank Tuesday. Tune in next week for more tips in the world of automotive digital marketing from Potratz. To download this podcast or watch previous episodes, search for us on iTunes. To learn more, visit us at ppadv.com.